Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wondered how you can make money from SoundCloud and other popular music streaming services that exist today? In this video I'm going to show you the process, but before I start I'm going to jump to my Gmail account and show you that I actually made money from this. So let me now log into my Gmail. Alright, so this is my Gmail and right now we see that my Pioneer account has been loaded. So let me now open it so that you can see that this is real mail. So yeah, this is from Fiverr. So here you see that I have made money from Fiverr and that my Pioneer account has been loaded with $489. And uh, today I'm going to show you the exact process. So stick with me to the end of this video as I'm sure you're going to find this very useful. Let us not waste any more time and let me show you the process of how this actually works. So the first thing what we are going to do is that we're going to head to Fiverr and uh, I'm going to show you how much uh, these sellers that are doing this kind of stuff actually make. So in the search bar, I'm just going to type SoundCloud. And here as SoundCloud services, you're going to see a lot of these sellers popping up with their gigs and selling them. So you're going to see that a lot of them have a lot of reviews, which means that they have at least twice as many orders. So not everyone is leaving review on Fiverr, which is pity. But if you provide excellent service, I'm pretty sure that you're going to have a lot of them. So here at this highlighted box, we see several gigs where people keep returning. So I'm just going to open some of them as uh, this one, for example, which has over 1000 reviews. So uh, here we are going to see what he offers. So first thing we notice is that he's doing EDM promotion, which is a specialized niche for electronic dance music. But you can find the sellers who provide for all types of genres. Uh, in this case, this one is uh, offering only one package of $40 and he is having exposure to over 300,000 people. So this is uh, where people come back and uh, this is what he offers. So here we can read his uh, description and based on that we can later create our own gig. So if we scroll down below, we're going to see a lot of these reviews and uh, we're going to see that he has over 2000 reviews. Uh, of five stars and uh, arrest is negligible. So let me now calculate this based on only reviews. So if his base price is $40 and he has sold at least 2,052 reviews, he, he has made over $82,000. So you see that this is very profitable niche and how these guys are doing this, we're going to see in uh, the rest of the video. So stay with me and uh, let's continue with the tutorial. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to do a little bit of research. It is also not bad to check out these other sellers which have high user rating for SoundCloud promotion and uh, base our pricing according to their pricing so that we can outprice them or at least price match them for the same or a better service that we're going to offer later in the video. So if we go through all of these sellers, we're going to see that their basic promo starts with 10 bucks and it goes all the way up to 50 bucks. So this is going to be the price range what we are going to base our price on. Uh, the next thing what we're going to do is that we're going to close them maybe leave this one open so that I can see what he's doing. Anyway, next thing is that we're going to go again on Fiverr. And the next thing what we're going to do is that we're going to switch to selling because this is buyer account. Uh, in order to do this, you have to have seller account. So let me switch now. Once you have your Fiverr seller account set up, you're going to have a dashboard like this. So here in the dashboard, I have one buyer here, which is waiting for me to deliver the SoundCloud promotion service that I offer. And this is exactly the same method, which I'm going to teach you how to do today. Now head here to gigs. Here in the gig section, you're going to manage your gigs, which are basically your services that you're offering to these buyers. Then what you have to do is that you're going to have to head here and create a new gig. The process is pretty straightforward and it is not going to take you a lot of time to uh, create a gig, uh, which is basically, as I explained, service that you're going to offer. 
So remember when I told you that you have to keep open some of these sellers to see what they're offering. So this is where it comes to play. Here at the title we can do something like this. We can just copy this and create a gig simply like this. Then underneath this we're going to have to select category and subcategory. So this is going to be digital marketing music promotion. And then we're going to set services what we're going to offer. So I'm going to offer SoundCloud and Spotify. Next thing I'm going to add tags. Next thing I'm going to click is save and continue. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to offer three packages, I'm just going to offer one because I already have a gig with three packages, so this is going to be kind of like premium gig, so this is why I'm going to concept it with uh, only one service. So this service is going to be uh, called like uh, Platinum, which in the description I'm just going to put something nice and uh, i'm just going to speed this process up a little bit so that you don't wait now i'm going to briefly describe my gig and in this section i can borrow something from other sellers which i'm going to modify i'm also going to speed this up but you are free to pause when i finish Okay, so once I have finished setting up my gig, the next step is that uh, I have to put some thumbnails here so that people can see that I do some cloud promotion. The best and easiest way to make thumbnail is on Canva. So here in Canva we're going to do a design, so it is pretty straightforward business. So I'm going down below where I designed my previous gig thumbnails and I'm just going to do a little bit of touch up and then I'm going to use pretty similar music images in order to be displayed on my gig as an image. So here we see that I have created this for one of my past gigs, so just copy this and I'm going to add here something like SoundCloud. And uh, this is going to be my gig thumbnail, so I'm just going to download this PNG or JPEG, it uh, really doesn't matter. Make sure that you select only one that you have made, so this is the second picture, download this. And uh, once this has downloaded, just head back to Fiverr and upload this here as a gig picture. One picture is enough, if you have more then it would be better. But for the example of this video, I'm not going to do more pictures, I'm just going to hit save and continue. And this is going to be it, the gig that you have made, you just have to hit this publish gig. Once you receive this message, you're going to have your gig published and this is going to be a link to your gig. The next thing what we're going to do is that we're going to head to SoundCloud and you're going to have to open an account there. I'm not going to show you the step on how to open an account as that is pretty straightforward process. You just have to name it somehow and that is pretty much it. Uh, the rest you can follow on the next step in this tutorial which is this one. So uh, here uh, what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to go and write all of these information. You're also going to have to do this on your own. And here in the bio I'm going to write something about myself and put my uh, link to the gig here. Now click save changes. So what happens now is that whenever someone visits your profile here, he's going to have to see this description as this is going to be displayed uh, on the right side and your link is going to be down below. Now the next step is uh, creating uh, and uploading an image for profile photo and an image for header. So here as the header image we should follow these instructions so that we have picture which is at least in this uh, resolution. For the purpose of creating this header image we are also going to head back to Canva but before we go back we are going to find something which relates to music. Then hit images. 
for the needs of this video i'm just going to hit a random picture which is going to be this one this one has the necessary resolution i'm just going to hit save image and once the image has been saved i'm going to upload it to the canva site go to canva here in the design i'm going to hit add page and on the left side you're going to see this uploads where you're going to upload the picture that you previously downloaded that is this one once it has uploaded you just have to scroll it back here so that you can edit something on it what i like to do is that uh, i want to write something on this picture which is going to be viewed by all visitors who visit my profile here on soundcloud so uh, i'm just going to write something uh, like check link in my bio and uh, that is going to be pretty much everything what is uh, going to be written here so that it conveys clear and concise message to people who are visiting me and that they know what I'm actually going to offer them. Now hit download and select the picture that you now made. Now do not worry because it is lower resolution. Uh, what you're going to do here is that you're going to head here and uh, select this. Click save. And the uh, next thing is that we're going to have to do is uh, the profile picture. Uh, the process is the same. Find some music picture which is something like this you see how easy this was i didn't even have to bother just download the picture and repeat the process click upload image and that is going to be it and now you saw how easy it was to create a profile here on soundcloud and set it up for sales here we have this uh, profile picture which associates to music and we have cover photo which is actually a very nice cover photo and very simple message is on it if you struggle to get here check the link in the bio and the link is going to lead to our uh, gig on fiverr which we previously created and uh, priced at uh, 40 bucks Now you're going to head here to the search bar and type any genre or any music that you can come up with. For example, let us do ambient. Now on the left you're going to see these uh, things by which you can search. I'm just going to select tracks and once you select tracks it is going to show you additional filters. So you're going to have to select some of them. Click added anytime and click added in past day. So these are tracks that are uploaded today and as you can see most of them have a very little engagement and very little place. So uh, what you have to do is that you have to scroll through them and uh, start contacting these uh, composers so that you can actually offer them some service. So uh, let me speed this process up a little bit until I find someone. Now, once you have selected your artists, you're going to have to contact them. To do so properly, click all of their uh, profile pictures. And once you open their profiles, you're going to see the message sign here. So here you're going to have this message in every artist that you open, regardless if it is on playlist or if it is on actual track. Now, as I explain you how to contact people, it is time for you to have something written so that you can make them come to your profile in order for them to see this link. Now it is time for you to write that message into the message section and uh, since I already have it pre-written I'm just going to copy it and paste it. Just hit here this and this and just click send. Now if this buyer be interested in your message he's going to come and see your profile and if he's interested he's going to head to fiverr and uh, check your gig where he's going to see what you're offering and that is how you're having increased chance on how you can actually make money from this now this process is simple but you're probably wondering where are you going to find someone who is going to actually deliver what you're going to offer here the next website which we are going to visit is mymusicviral.com
Now once here on my music viral we're going to head here to SoundCloud and buy SoundCloud plays. Uh, down below we're going to see pricing for how much plays uh, they're going to charge how many. So for 5000 it is 459, so for 10000 it is 7 and so on and so on. So based on these prices you're going to form your own price and make sure to mark up at least double and that is how you're actually going to make money. So when buyer from SoundCloud which you have sent message comes to your profile he's going to see uh, the link in your bio then if he is interested he's going to go and check your gig on Fiverr and if he's interested he's going to buy then when he buys from you he's going to leave the link to his SoundCloud profile into the buyer requests section from your Fiverr account and then you're going to copy it and uh, head here for example buy now and once you have his link you're going to leave his link here for example this is the link in the email just select the email that you're going to uh, order from and the message uh, if you need something special for a request then once you had hit this submit and uh, it is going to lead you to the next page where you're going to have options on how to pay with various credit cards or uh, Venmo, Zelle or whichever you prefer. Alright guys, so that would be it for this video and if you have enjoyed this and learned something out of this above all, uh, simply smash that subscribe button and give me those thumbs up as that helps with YouTube algorithm. Also don't forget to check my account here and check my other videos that I have been pouring in for the past couple of months. I'm sure you're going to find a lot of useful information here. Until next video.